happy Monday. Just gonna wait a little bit, 30 seconds or so here, before I get going here in my spiel. But I hope you're all having a very spectacular Monday. I had no idea what I was gonna talk about for Periscope today, and then uh, after my workout, I decided to go to like the business center of our apartments and start getting things together for this new concept that we're doing for welcome folders. So I'm gonna kinda dive into that, but as I was doing it, I thought, hey, this would be a really good Periscope. Yeah. All right, so excuse my sweaty, nasty, <laughs> my after workout self. Um, so I hope you're all doing great. So when Keen and I signed up with Young Living, we got our kit from our friend, Angela. Um, I think her like incentive at the time, it was just like her gift to us was a uh, quick reference um, pocket guide. And it was awesome. And it was like an extra thing like, hey, yeah, I'll totally sign up because I want to get that. And I've seen many, many, many people do super things. You can call them promotions, incentives, uh, gifts, anything. I like to call it blessings. Um, just like a little extra thing that I like to give people. Because I do, my, my love, one of my love languages is receiving gifts. But I think it's because I also really love giving gifts. And so I like to just give a gift but also like resources and information um so people like aren't lost like as soon as they get their kit and they're like okay now what do i do so i kind of like to give them a good amount of information and i know that young living has guidelines about this like you can't you cannot give someone incentives over the value of 25 dollars um, cause then, you know, then people are like <laughs> giving a desk reference and $25 Amazon card and everyone's just going to go to them because they're offering so much. And so, uh, Young Living put some restrictions on that. And, um, I, I think that's really great too, because I don't think it's, I don't do it to get people to sign up with me. I really do love to bless people and give gifts. So for me, that's my motive with it, but it's okay if it's not yours. Like if you're really trying to get people in, like this month I'm giving away um, like a silver locket diffuser necklace for anybody who signs up with me. And so through the year and a half, we've had the Minted Real Business. Uh, Kina and I have changed our incentives uh, uh, each month. It never stays the same and in the same way I might not send something to somebody that's the same as somebody else. Like even if my, even for if, if the for the one month I'm giving away essential oil holders, I might not give that to everybody in that month unless I'm promoting it. If I'm promoting, hey I'm giving away an essential oil holder for anyone who signs up as a new member with me. But if I just say, hey, I'm sending you a welcome gift, uh, then I'll change it up depending on who it is and what I think they would like. Um, so that always changes. And I like to offer a lot of different things. So what I usually send is one of these diffuser necklaces. It's like a little jar and it has cork on top and the oil diffuses through the cork. And then you can fit like maybe 15 to 20 drops of oil in in these little bottles so you always have that on hand and they're adjustable too so you can have them longer or shorter and they're really nice so I always bubble wrap one of these up and I send them uh, to a new member or I send them an oil holder um, the most of them that I make now fit 15 milliliter bottles just because um, then it can fit both sizes. It can fit the 5 mil and the 15 milliliter. So sometimes I'll send these. Um, when someone signs up with me at a class, I just usually give them one of these. And then I'll give them like maybe a couple little pamphlets or something. But if someone signs up with me via like online or anything like that, um, I always get their address and I ship them a package. So sometimes I feel like when I'm shipping people things, they get a little bit more than when they're at the class. But when you're at the class, you're getting like the full education of everything. And so that's actually more beneficial. But um, uh, when I send them a package in the mail, I have like the necklace in the holder or 
you know, something like that, like the actual gift of it. And then I usually will send like a little diffuser disc, which I'll show you in a minute. And I will send like an income disclosure sheet so they can see if they are ever interested in being a business builder, what they could potentially make. Um, I usually send like some flyers that I have that I bought on a website and they're, they're really great. Um, and just information on the starter kit, how to use each oil, all that information. Um, if I feel like they have expressed a little bit in interest in business building, I send them one of these, making my first 10 million. And I send, it's just a tiny little book, so it fits in my little envelope. And um, I send that to them as well. And then um, also, we have been in the process of making these beauties. These are like wooden um, diffuser necklaces. And so you can just put the drop of wood, the oil, straight on the wood. I put it on both sides usually. So this is like another thing that I offer. I, I really have like a lot of different things. So like I said, depending on the person, I'll send them something new. Um, so we got to have a great conversation with our friend Ange a couple months ago and she was starting this new, it's, I mean it's not really a concept, but she was starting this new thing of welcome folders that she would just have ready to go and I believe she had something similar like this for us too. She handed us a packet of um, just all this information with our starter kits and it was awesome to be able to like look through that and understand things more um, but with all the FDA compliant changes I know a lot has changed up but she keeps it really simple and so um, she gave me a she gave me one of her sample guides and I have them in a different folder now because I wanted to be able to always check back up but I printed out my own little welcome folder today and I'm still kind of playing around with it to see what I want but the premise of it is that one side of the folder is going to be your business information and one side of the folder is going to be oil information so that even if they maybe weren't interested in the business aspect you're giving them a little bit of information about it and maybe they'll take the time to read that and maybe be interested in it so you're kind of giving them all these resources so I think I'm going to include like a little diffuser disc in all of my welcome kits and it's just awesome. You can put it on your nightstand in your car, you know, by you when you're reading your Bible, um, put it in your shoes. You can just put some oil on it and just set it right in there. So um, I'm going to include that too. Um, I have my business card right in there. And then, so the business side includes the, sorry, I don't know if I can, if everyone can see good, but includes the income disclosure sheet and then um, a lot of information on essential rewards um, and just the benefits of getting on that. I have like a little graphic there and another one here. Um, I don't want to overwhelm them with business opportunities, but want them to know what's available for them. So I actually might include just like a basic how to start a young living essential oil business from home. Um, just like a tiny little guide about that. Uh, I would maybe even include these right in here as well. Um, but obviously, you know, if they're not interested, you don't want to like waste too many resources if it's not anything they'll ever be interested in. But uh, like I wouldn't put like the heart centered sharing guide in here because it's just so long and that would probably be, but if there's just like a small guide, I think I'll find to add to the business side. And then over here, these are the flyers I was talking about that I have, and I have a bunch of different kinds that I ordered, and um, just gives information on each of the oils. And so, um, this is from theessentialtools.com, and they're really great and affordable. I think they're 10 cents a sheet, and they're like beautifully done. So, um, that's like a really good investment, I feel, to add to here. And then this is like a basic guide on what are essential oils, how to use them, how to use it in each kit. This is like I stapled together a little form. This is just a little graphic on each of the oils and what you can do. So when they're opening their kit, they're like, okay, now what? So here's like where they can start off from. Another graphic I have with each oil and an explan some explanations of what to do on each of them. And then I ran across this welcome to Young Living, a special guide for new members. I found this on the Lavender Lobby website and I really like it. It's 17 pages, so it's really comprehensive, but it even has like phone numbers if you have problems, who you know, what numbers to call with Young Living, goes through essential rewards, kind of just goes through everything comprehensively. So um, I say all this as we have some amazing business builders on our team and you're going to want to equip your team and your new members and so 
you don't have to do what we do um, at the Minted Oil, but find what works for you and how you would like to bless your new team members and how would you like to equip them. And we have all of these files on hand for you if you want them. I should upload some of them to our Minted Oil team page, but uh, there's so many different ways that you guys can have incentives. Um, some people do like little gift cards or little Amazon gift cards and things like that. Just make sure that your value is not going over $25 so that you can stay compliant with Young Living's rules and regulations. Um, but as long as your value is under $25 for what you're gifting them, then that's totally okay. So, yeah, thank you to Transformation Time for giving us um, just this wonderful idea and starting us off with gifts because that motivated us to do the same for our team. And so it doesn't have to be huge. You don't have to do it right away. You don't have to do it at all if you don't like. But um, I try to do something. Keenan and I want to keep it so that it's duplicable for you. So it's not like, I would never be able to afford that or I would never be able to send that to people or give that to people. We want to keep it like reasonable so that if we can do it, you guys can do it too. So Hopefully that was helpful, and um, you can catch the replay of this on Periscope for the next 24 hours. Um, otherwise, we will be uploading it to our YouTube channel. You just have to search for us at The Minted Oil, and then um, we'll probably be posting it on our Minted Oil Facebook page as well. So let us know if you have any other questions, and I hope this gave you some good ideas on how to bless your team and your new members. And um, I just hope you have a fantastic rest of your Monday. Bye, guys.